Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this Easter Bunny in watercolors and masking fluid. I'm using 100% cotton watercolor paper, cold pressed medium grain. And as usual, I always start by taping my paper to keep it flat. Now that I'm done with my drawing, I will fill the shape with uh, the masking fluid. I'm using one from Winsor Newton, but uh, there are very many other brands as well. It is a latex-based medium, and when it dries, it's, it becomes like a very thin layer of plastic. And in the areas where you apply masking fluid, uh, no water or paint will be absorbed. It can be very tricky to clean up your brush. Uh, it can turn out like this after you have uh, painted with the masking fluid. Uh, I usually use a very cheap brush and my recipe for removing it is actually turpentine. Uh, I have tried many different things and this has given the best result. So now you have to let your masking fluid dry completely. I think I left it for like 10 minutes or so. You can touch it with your finger and feel if it's still wet or not. And after that, I start by wetting my paper again. Uh, you can either use a spray bottle with water in it or just use a wet brush. And now I'm adding paint. And as you can see, the areas with the masking fluid on uh, won't uh, absorb any paint or water. So now I'm using a hair dryer uh, to dry the first layer of paint I've added. And as you can see, colors get a bit duller or like lighter after it has dried. So at this point, I feel like I want to have more contrast so that when the masking fluid is removed, uh, the rabbit and white flowers will stick out and contrast is really important. So I add another layer of paint um, again, and then I will dry it with uh, my hairdryer again. So the second layer has also dried and I'm happy. I don't want to get it too dark. I want to have a spring filling palette. Um, and now I just add some details here and there.
So at this point, I'm happy with my painting and want to remove the masking fluid to work with the white areas. And as you can see, I'm using an eraser to rub it off. And now, as you can see, edges are not very clean. Um, this happens a lot, especially if you have a paper with rougher texture, like the one I have here. But uh, don't worry, you can clean it up the way I'm doing like this, painting outside of the shape with watercolor. Just make sure whenever you apply paint, add more water uh, outside so that it blends. Uh, also, I really like this uh, Molotov uh, acrylic bra uh, pen sorry, <laughs> acrylic pen for covering up the white areas. This is also very helpful. I'm adding last details and feel pretty happy with how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, please support me by hitting the like and subscribe button to see more videos like this. As the last tip, I recommend you to use a hairdryer for removing the tapes around your painting like this. Uh, if you don't want to destroy your paper or rip off layer of papers that can easily happen with watercolor papers. Thank you for watching and happy painting!